it's a wonderful thing to play a, a female captain. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you. Now, what was your first reaction to see yourself as an animated self? Delight. Um, it tickles me. And it also, it's fulfilling. Um, and clearly very gratifying to see this animated version brought to life. Um, it's just another, another, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? assurance, reassurance that Star Trek and its uh, prime characters are, are sort of deeply important to the culture. Indeed. And now here you are um, in, this, in, this, in this show, animated show for kids. Do you feel that this show is also going to have any Easter eggs that they're going to have bring the, the Star Trek older generation? into watching the series? You mean, do, you, do I think that it will appeal to that demographic as well as the young people? Oh, I certainly hope so. As I said to the journalist before you, it's nothing if not a shared experience. That's the inherent beauty of Star Trek, that you sort of take somebody's hand and you watch together and you learn together and you experience together. So I hope that that goes from mother to child and from grandmother to grandchild and so on and so forth. That's, that's the beauty of it. Now you have these, uh, these kids that where you, you come up as a hologram. What will you be, what will you represent for these, these kids? Well, salvation, if they're mindful, um, a way out, a way to, to, to learn how to handle that starship and to uh, get away from the prison planet that they've all been stuck on. Uh, it's teaching them how to listen and learn. Uh, it's teaching them patience and integrity, uh, collaboration and friendship, allegiance, fidelity to allegiance, all of those things. That's what the hologram Janeway is doing. And of course, I love being able to do that once again. And what does Star Trek mean to you? It means a lot to me. There was a time in my life when it meant nothing. I mean, I was very, very guileless about Star Trek. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I wasn't brought up with it. I certainly, you know, I, it wasn't a part of my culture. Uh, and yet I got the role and it introduced me to a way of life that I never dreamed would happen to me. It's been exceedingly important and uh, kind of inexpressibly um, significant. Um, when I say that it's been a privilege and an honor I'm not exaggerating. It's a wonderful thing to play a, a female captain and know that this will be um, reverberative in communities like STEM and uh, among uh, particularly young women. And to finalize, if you could see anybody via hologram at any time, who would it be? Well, I did that on Voyager when I asked that it would be Leonardo da Vinci because I think Janeway and her her loneliness and her, her longing to exercise her imagination came up with Da Vinci. So Da Vinci's pretty close to who I would like to see. But if I were going to be perfectly honest, uh, I think a hologram of Jesus Christ would be pretty compelling, don't you? It would be, it would be. I can see that you find that very- <laughs> No, because I asked one of the producers- <laughs> No, because I one of the producers I asked the same thing and he said the same thing. That's yes. why I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, good. Yes. yes. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Thank you.